My name is Talia Gershon, and I am a manager in the IBM Research Center in New York. I think the reason there's so few female engineers is just because of the negative feedback a lot of women get from their communities and society when they go into technical fields. You know, a lot of mothers are worried about their daughters finding a partner and looking unfeminine, and I think the negative feedback that women get encourages them to consider other professions. And I think women also face unconscious bias which is something that you know, it, it exists in the general public, in the community, and people have biases, and they're unconscious. They don't even know that they have a bias. And so a lot of factors come together to uh, make women feel like they don't want to choose technical professions a lot of the time. I think the more examples of women deciding to go into technical fields and serving as role models for future women, um, I think the more that we'll have younger women realizing it's a great profession, it's a great career. Um, so the more examples we have, I think the more women will realize it's a great career. I've seen mixed results about unconscious bias training. I think um, in some cases it can be helpful. In some cases it can be helpful because people being aware of it is important. You know, if you're not even aware that there's a problem, you can't do anything to change it. I think sometimes in unconscious bias, classes, people, especially people who don't believe that it exists, get very defensive. So they try and convince themselves and everybody else that it doesn't exist and they couldn't possibly be doing it, right? So it's mixed results. I think for some people, seeing it and hearing about it and thinking about it is good. Um, but it's hard to convince people that don't experience it themselves. This one's a tough one. I don't, I don't really know if there, I mean, I think, of course, we need to have rules that require fairness and equality, equal treatment, right? Of course, of course we need those things. But I think it's not enough. I think we also need to have cultural change. We need to address things like unconscious bias. Um, I think those are really, the combination of those things is really what's going to need to happen. And I think the unconsci fixing unconscious bias is something that, again, will happen the more women do choose this career, are there as a community. You know, it's more normal to see 20 women come out of a room in a technical lab. And so, you know, when that happens, people just like, their mind explodes. They can't imagine why 20 women would be in the same room in a research lab. <laughs> right? but, that's totally normal for 20 men to be in the same room in a research lab. Why not, right? Until that becomes normal and not shocking anymore, right? I think that's going to help fix the problem. I think that, you know, I think, I think, I think that there is a need for it. I think there can be organized, organized communities, but there could also be more informal, loosely organized communities of just people who are support, support each other and share experiences. I think sometimes if you do experience unconscious bias a lot, it can feel very lonely. So just, you know, just knowing that other people go through it and just being able to share experiences sort of makes you feel like, yeah, you're not alone in, in going through it. So.